everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Renata and this is running and style today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2017 make nine picks this initiative was started on Instagram by at Rochelle underscore new so you can go check her out even follow her if you see something that I do like I will try to leave a link in the description box to her um, IG profile now I wanted to share with you guys what I picked for the entire year. Sometimes it's nice to have um, a goal to reach to in terms of your projects and I, I believe I said something similar to this in my 2017 goals. So I have a few pieces that I've pulled together because of this initiative that I definitely want to complete and hopefully at the end of the year I can have a really nice roundup lookbook for you all to enjoy. Now the first project on my list which is also part of the style so my style hashtag on Instagram is the toasted sweater so I killed two birds with one stone and who doesn't like that? Now the toasted sweater is by So House 7 and they have a really nice collection of simple designs. It just reminds me of something like a minimalist style. So if you're into that sort of thing, don't forget to go check them out. I will leave a link in the description box to the website as well as the pattern. I like this pattern because it's so quick to sew and I will speak more on this in my January sews video which I will be recording shortly. The second project I have and let me just grab my I'm cheating I just don't want to forget any items but let me just pull this out here and I will share with you the second project which is Birder Style 9 2014 Style 130. I have completed both projects the toaster and this this dress by Birder Style it's very fun it's something that you can wear for the day and the night depending on the fabric you choose it also has boning in it so if you've never used boning before it's not really a big deal I was kind of freaking out and panicking about it but overall it's it's not a terrible thing and you'll learn to love it and I again have already completed this so it will be in my January makes video the next project on this initiative is another birder style and it is 11 2014 style 119 so when I say 11 2014 I mean the month is November and the year is 2014 and in the magazine it is style 119 for those of you that are not familiar with Birder's style this dress has some really sexy detail it has a a lot of cut out detail going on in the back the back is also very deep and the front is sort of a uh, <clears throat> A sweetheart and there is some boning in this one I initially wanted to make this project for the night dress of the day and night dress challenge by Elizabeth made this so she hosted this because she wanted to get back into performing she plays the violin I believe and she wanted to get back into performing and when you do perform you always have to wear a fantastic and phenomenal piece and that is the reason this project came up so I will leave a link in the description box to her as well for you guys now everything that I'm sharing here today I have a companion blog post which will also be in the description box so don't forget to check that out and there you'll see more images the next project for this initiative is McCall's 7542. I really like this blouse because it puts you it puts you in a mindset for spring. If you live in a cold area like I do, by now you're you've had it with the cold and the snow and the dreariness and all the slushy stuff. You're you're finished and over with that and you want to move forward and I'm moving forward by putting a lot of spring pieces on my to-do list because that's where my heart wants to be right now <laughs> so this design has a few variation of sleeves there is a trumpet a tulip um, there is also let's see yeah 
yeah, a pleated and a bubble sleeve. So there are many options within this pattern that you can choose. And another reason I actually bought it was because of the cascading sleeve, which I kind of call the ethereal sleeve, which I sort of hacked on my Agnes, if you've watched that um, review. So I was really happy that I didn't have to go ahead and try to figure out how to do it again and twist my mind around it. There's actually a pattern out there that I can use, so very happy. The next project on my list is McCall's 7535. This is um, more or less a simple dress, but I do like the detail that it has an, a cutout back and it also has um, <clears throat> little godets at the end. Of the skirt so that's a really cute design I think it's a sort of sleeper pattern where it doesn't look really good or it doesn't look like it has the potential which it does it just looks super simple and you might pass it by but it would definitely become a staple because the lines are pretty clean it is I believe made for knit I'm not 100% sure um, I'm pretty sure it looks like knit so if you can find good knit fabric that has as always a good recovery to come back into its shape then this is the perfect dress to use that fabric with. The next project is McCall's 7541 and I'm pretty sure I will get this one done in spring because it is one of those blouses that is perfect for the warmer weather and it will just look beautiful in some soft flowy fabric and perfect also for the beach as a cover-up I think but for me I'm going to attempt to hack it into a dress and I will share with you the the inspiration for this it was on anthropology I believe so I'll pop that image in there so you can take a look but everything is in my blog post so you can check it out there as well the next project I have is the rue dress the very first time I saw the rue I knew I wanted to make it I have four collab patterns and I have never sewed any of them and I have no idea why so I'm going to change all of that in 2017 by making the rue and have that be my kickstarter now I know there were a lot of complaints I believe or not really complaints there were issues with some of the design elements in this pattern and I believe that they took it off the shelf and they made adjustments so I think that it is going to be one of my favorite pieces I love the pipe in detail it just looks like um, a dress that I can totally put my name on and I'm going to make it again for spring so I might actually have all these nine projects way completed before the end of the year and I think that's a great motivation just because it's it's springtime and it's summertime coming up really soon the last two items on my list are both birder style and usually there's a theme of birder style in my sewing the design february or 224 style 129b it's a cigarette pants and i haven't sewn pants a lot i do more dresses and blouses i did sew the ginger jeans and i actually really enjoyed that i need to get back into that process of putting together the pants the jeans it's just and I, you know what i wear jeans so much that i need to really get cracking on it but I like the cigarette pants because you're not working with denim and I love the silhouette and the fit of this design so I'm gonna take a crack at it again I think the the color yellow totally pulled me to this design because it's a color that I want to start working a lot with it's not really a part of the colors for 2017 I don't think I've seen any yellow in the palette but I'll double check that but I really want to make a yellow pants so maybe I can find some really good yellow fabric and have that one done soon however I can definitely see this in some sort of really crazy floral pants it will look super cute to me 
And finally, the last item on my list for this initiative is Birder's Style 52014 Design 134. It is a retro style blouse and I've seen this and I've watched it and I've wanted to make it but I was a bit fearful just because of that cascading flongs in the front. I wasn't sure if I had the skills to pull it off but I think with all the challenges that I've been doing the last year that I'm ready for it and I'm pretty excited so I'm pumped to see all these pieces come together and create a really nice video for you all and to share with you the ups and downs of each project. So thank you very much for watching this video video i hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget if you like it please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next upload bye